No, I mean, if I said... No, I mean, if I had... Yeah, no, I would definitely do something further than that. Yeah, no, I would probably... I don't know, one portal on this on one side of the earth, one portal on the other, and then I would start uh, my own commerce company. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pizza is faster to your door than any other... What's that? A weird dystopian future where they deliver pizzas and that's the main thing that America does is already a novel called Snow Crash? <laughs> the guy's name is Hero Protagonist? <laughs> I know it won a bunch of I know it won a bunch of awards, but that just sounds stupid. Chat. Hello. Your administrator welcomes you to Scientist Place. If you're just joining us here in City 17, this is where the only live streaming scientist on the internet plays through some of the best games, your most favorite games of all time. As we do so, we'll be giving you not just nostalgic and fun and interesting gameplay, but we'll also be sciencing these games as we go through them. This is the only place on the internet where we do so. Hello, I'm Science Boy Kyle. My day job is to explore and explain everything underneath the stars and beyond. But here, today, We'll be doing something a little bit different. To explain to you just what, you have to join me in the command center. Chat, welcome to the facility gaming center behind me, two 75 inch monitors. One to see what you're saying, one to see what we're playing. In front of me, two 20 inch curved, 28 inch curved OLED 4K monitors for which to game with behind me a ps6 behind me gaming chairs for one and all what we do here on scientist plays as i said is play through some of the best games ever made and today is no different we'll be playing through the second half or probably the second two-thirds or the last two-thirds of portal a game that i've played through many times i used to do so about once a year if you've never played this will be a treat for you um, also be a spoiler for you, but if you've never played this, uh, a, a fantastic and clever game infused with science. We take the role as a test subject inside of Aperture Science and we use portals to think our way out. Last time when we played this, you can watch the first stream back on the gaming channel two weeks ago. But we made it pretty quickly through the first half. And today we'll be making it through the second two halves makes sense i want to see who all is here from the previous office hours where we had thousands of you show up to learn about how fusion works and about the most recent breakthrough all of you who are there from here i welcome you if this is your first time kyle hill the science guy i prefer kai guy the s s welcome golden one Everyone who's here from there, if this is your first time, it will be fun. Trust me, we're not just doing gameplay. I will be talking with you, reading your comments, taking your questions, and sciencing this game in real time as we do so. Tactical, welcome. Crafty, welcome. Thank you. Of course, if you want to continue on this conversation after we're full live, full live, it's a word. Join the facility at patreon.com slash Kyle Hill. It's nothing like Aperture Science. I don't yell at people over the megaphone. You get access to everything, including our private members-only Discord where you can talk with me every day. Sci-fi the Kyle Guile says, Mr. Vacuum Brain Bimbo. Cool. Fred Perot, welcome. Do a portal, says Peace of Craft. Ian M, welcome. Turkey Line, welcome, says... Yeah, 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 yeah. Dark Fire Zero says, I was meant to go to bed. Well, too bad, because for the next two hours or so, or however long it takes me to beat the second three quarters halves of Portal, I'm going to be delivering you clever gameplay plus science tidbits here and there. <laughs> Forgive me if I stumble over my words. I am both caffeinated, and I've been talking about technical fusion technology for the last hour. Turns out, not easy to do in real time. No wonder why you don't see any of my colleagues even attempting it. 
And how could they? If they don't have their very own wormhole actualization machine, which is a coffee mug that, oops, that has a hole in it. See? It's my wormhole mug. Perfect for today's stream. Um, your mustache looks good, says Turkey Line. Yeah. First time here, excited to see Portal again after many, many years. Jason Timmermans. <sighs> Jack is so caffeinated as well. Game's pretty short, probably won't take two hours to beat what remains of the game. Yeah, we'll see. Well, we'll see how much science we get inserted into those gameplay hours. So, as I said, your first time. What do we do here? We... Get in the facility. We turn on our mics and our headphones. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. I move this thing over here that you can't see. And now I turn down this because that's way too loud. I was playing Escape from Tarkov. You need to have your head on a freaking swivel. And now, welcome to A Scientist Plays Portal. So chat, like I was saying, as we play through this game, I will be attempting over the next two hours or for however long it takes to play this game to give you science time. So ask me and I will observe as we play but this is going to be fun. Note that I will not be... I know you're there. I can feel you here. Hello? Note that I will not be using a controller because apparently on my controller, gyroscope is turned on all the time. <laughs> Which is bad for my brain. So I'll be playing on mouse and keyboard instead. And first things first... Contaminated area. How does... Oh, chat, we're already here. We're already here. How does an area like this... Boop, boop, how does an area like this become... Life Geek says unfollow, unsub. Here. Take that on your way up. The nerds are talking, alright? Anyway. How does a place become contaminated by radiation like this? Well, one way you may not have heard of is call, is uh, through activation. Now, if you've never heard of activation, this is what happens when nuclear radiation, radiation, uh, high energy particles, photons like gamma rays, etc. But in this case, uh, neutrons, high energy neutrons, can smash their way into other atoms. And when they smash their way into other atoms, they become a part of that atom. And if that happens enough, that atom can become large and unstable. A large and unstable atom wants to become stable so it emits parts of itself until it is. That is what radioactivity is. So in a area like this, I would guess that some of this material has been activated. Some of the steel, specifically. Now when we just came from the last facility uh, stream when you looked at that national ignition facility most of it is concrete because it's hard to activate they want to minimize the amount of steel that is in the area because those high energy neutrons coming out from nuclear reactions can make atoms and molecules in the steel unstable thus making them radioactive thus making an area activated and contaminated i know that because i actually got a contaminated activation sticker from the National Ignition Facility, and I put it on one of my coffee cups, and I have to find it somewhere. But it's a real activation danger um, thing. And I'm gonna say, this is what that is about. <laughs> Science lesson number one. Where am I going? Probably over there. Oh. Got it. You. A 
lot of these sounds are taken from um, a lot of these sounds are taken taken directly from Half Life and Half Life Two, and it makes me want to play them. They were watching me. Hey, Kyle. Scientifically speaking, thoughts on fruity pebbles added to waffle mix. Someone wants to know. Um, fruity pebbles in waffle mix. I mean, if you heat up. If you heat up any cereal, it's gonna be a little bit different, Alex. So, uh, depend. I mean, you can try it. It's, it's, I don't think it's gonna be dangerous or anything like that. Now, where did that do for me? Where to where? 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 Chat, though I've played this game before, it's been a little while, so you're gonna have to forgive me. I let. Has anyone made case mods of this? Ravdos, welcome. I'm actually gonna do a quick run of the game right now as I listen to you, Sergio. Anyone done a case mod of this PC? This thing looks awesome. I like it. I also really like the Aperture logo. Generic life form and dis... Black Mesa... I don't know what any of that's it. Oh. DOD means Department of Defense. Oh, I just go here. <laughs> Oops. Fling myself that way. <laughs> what are you doing? You haven't escaped, you know. You're not even going the right way. Liar. Hello, is anyone there? Seems like people have tried to escape before. Is just raw, is just air pushing me around? Because that would have a ridiculous amount of. That'd be a lot of air. Okay, the test is over now. You win. Go back to the recovery annex for your cake. It was a fun test, and we're all impressed at how much you won. The test is over. Come back. <laughs> Bunny hopping? I'm a speedrunner. to grab one or did I mess that up so this is the first room which is cool because you can now like technically break right the first room yeah you can do that to break the first room eh, so clever Ugh. This seems like a complicated situation. Isn't the term speed running a little bit redundant? No, I don't think so. Why do sodas in aluminum cans seem to taste colder than in a cup? Uh, that just might be a perceptual thing, huh? Not, not actually colder, just... Oh wait, I remember this. Welcome. So I finished watching the science stream. I'm excited for this breakthrough. See, I'm excited for you to be excited about the breakthrough. What do you think about that? The cake got vivisected. You know, we used to vivisect things, so instead of performing autopsies on stuff, um, we would perform autopsies on things uh, that are still alive. Shouldn't have done that. 
and uh, that was in an effort to understand how things work while they're alive before things like general anesthesia. And we did it to people, prisoners, dogs. Anyway, here we go. Where's gravity? This should work. See, that's a little rocket jump. So with this fusion breakthrough, are we in this Tony Stark arc reactor territory now? No. So like I was... No, so as I was trying to explain to y'all, how high does that go? I don't want to die. Got it. Um, the breakthrough is in the amount of energy we were, we were able to generate from a fusion reaction. Um, not, but we, what we haven't been able to do is create a net amount of energy from that reaction. <laughs> I just gotta remember how to do this one. Um, the net amount of energy would be the amount of energy it takes takes to create the reaction versus how much you get out of the reaction. We're not there yet. We're not to the point where we have a net more than uh, more energy getting out than we put into the laser beams. So we're not quite there yet. And you were like, oh, no way. Is anyone there? Just gonna find a location. Right there. Nope. Just gonna find a nice little location somewhere. Chat. Greetings from Alabama. John Bowen, welcome. Bot's getting out of hand. Yeah, well, you know, they think I'm made in this, but <laughs> I am not. Oh, right there. I, I committed a classic blunder, not looking the other direction. What the heck just happened? Jay Noir says, I want a t-shirt that says laser beams on it now. Hey, Jay, I have... Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Jay, I have great news. We at the facility sell t-shirts that say, warning, death ray in use on them. So if you want one of those, you definitely can have one. Shop.kyle.com going to play Portal 2 if you want me to. Can you make levitation with portals? I don't think so. Did you pull anything good from Double Masters? Uh, yeah. Uh, um, Full Art Crucible of World. No, Full Out Phyrexian Altar, among some other things. Do you think we'll ever achieve portals as this? It says, Huaco Gianola. No, I don't think so. Which one is that? It because... It because... Why won't we ever create portals like this? We won't create portals like this, mainly, Gianola, 
um, because it violates a lot of laws of the universe, one being the conservation of energy. Now, if I was able to instantaneously go, say, like I just did, from the bottom of an area to the top without expending any energy to get up upwards in a gravitational field, then I am cheating the universe. I'm getting energy from nowhere. I'm creating, uh, I'm gathering potential, I find myself in a state of gravitational potential energy without having to expend any work to get there. That's not how the universe works. Can't do that. Your pistons don't scare me. We need energy to hold them open. Not the same thing. Mistborn? No. How many years do you think it will be? It will be till we have a stable fusion. I bet. I bet we're gonna get a net positive fusion reaction. You know, in the next two to five to ten years. But in terms of making that into a working nuclear reactor, that's totally different. Don't fall in the goo. What about teleport, Kyle? Same, same thing. Okay, Snow, welcome. Question mark, welcome. Hey, right. Totori, welcome. <laughs> Can someone, if you haven't uh, dropped a like, can you do so right now? And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the new gaming channel, do so right now so that you can be informed whenever we do this. I want to see if the notification thing is working. Jump! That would have worked. I don't want to hear nothing. <laughs> I forgot, um, I forgot that, uh, I had to wait that out. My bad. I'm fine, Chad. Darling, I hit like as soon as I entered the stream. Oh, that's right. Unload. Liked and subs is Pinfari. Haven't seen the notification yet. Maybe it's all borked. My legs! Oh. So, Chet, I've been trying to do this every Tuesday, right after the uh, office hour stream, because it's just easier for me to do it twice in a row rather than, you know... Subscribed and dropped a like. Kyle misses words. Left to watch something else, though. Brandon. <laughs> I'm not going to get weird again. Beans and water. The only things you need to survive. Protein and H2OT. You probably, like, get 100 notifications at once. Well, you say that. I haven't even seen one yet. Maybe it's not working. Eh. It's going to open up. That's the Halo 2 notification sign. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Target Okay. I don't 
Okay. I'm a science guy. I didn't say H2O2. Don't drink H2O2. That would be super duper bad. It's hydrogen peroxide, yeah. Donde esta mi portal? I don't know what portal is in Spanish. Do you know that you know what portal is in Spanish? Where am I looking? Back up. Dead. Who are you? LOL says Andre Kraka. Who are you, Andre? Hey, there we go. There's the notifications. Bam. Look, at that. Look how fancy that was. This is my blood. You know, from uh, forensic science. Donde esta la biblioteca? Si quiere continuar en español, a primero el dos. Um, from forensic science, we know that we can look at the directionality of blood spatter to see how someone was killed with what, where. So in this case, splatter directionality outwards implies some, you know, impact from in front of it in a certain direction, right? Um, and what's interesting about blood is that you can infer the direction it was moving because of its uh, non-Newtonian nature. Blood is actually a non-Newtonian fluid, which means that it reacts differently depending on how much shear stress is applied to it. That's not the same with water. Water wouldn't dry like that. Blood signs. Where the heck am I going? I came from up there, right? So do I have to... Is there any openings in there? I don't think so. Making me feel sick with all this blood talks, this variety. Don't worry, we're done. Where was it? Chat. Where am I supposed to be looking right now? Am I supposed to be looking somewhere else? Inside one of the turret rooms? Oh, straight up? Yeah, you're- oh, because of the sign. Yep, got it. You're not a good person. You know that, right? <laughs> good people. Don't end up here. Can you hear me? Who's there? Oh, this is harsh. Kyle, I love that you mentioned Snow Crash at the beginning of the stream and just finished reading it for the fourth time like three days ago. Bam. Wait, did I miss the blood? Says Nick. Nick, we're not all... <laughs> nosebleed cosplayers. <laughs> but Kyle, you were just right there. Shut up. happen if you drank oxygen in liquid form, says Darth Revenant. You would die. Did I just come from there? No. Watch this. Liquid oxygen is notoriously one of the only things that Adam Savage and Jamie Heineman on Mythbusters refuse to work with. So when things explode, when things burn, when things change form, Usually, the chemical term of what they're doing, chemical term for what they're doing, is oxidizing, adding oxygen to stuff. Since oxygen is very so-called electronegative, oxygen makes a lot of different reactions happen, like combustion, like burning. And so, if you add liquid oxygen to something, you increase the chances of it having a reaction like that by X amount of, you know, makes it infinitely more, not infinitely more, but it, it makes it so much more willing to react. Reportedly, Adam and Jamie refused to work with liquid oxygen. There was a myth where a liquid oxygen truck tipped over and it supposedly made the entire pavement, like, explosive. 
and when they looked into it, um, they deemed it so dangerous they couldn't eat, they wouldn't work with it. Science time. Oh, that was me. Oh, hello. The optics of this would get really weird. There's some really cool jumps coming up later on in this, uh... if you breathe water says question mark question mark question mark question mark question mark um you asphyxiate that means die this is your fault it didn't have to be like this i'm not kidding now turn back or i will kill you <laughs> oh that wasn't funny i don't know why i'm going to kill you and all the cake is gone you don't even care do you <laughs> this is your last chance bunch of turrets show up. Hey. So this trains you on how to fight these. Which will come into play in just a little bit. What's your favorite magic card slash commander says Giratina Origin? Um, I have a couple of commanders that are competitive and among them um uh Silvala and Orvar are monocolor combo decks that I really really like um in terms of just in general I don't know I have soft spots with some cards what if you breathe, breathe liquid nitrogen air is mostly nitrogen after all um Drinking liquid nitrogen is extremely dangerous. Sometimes, and we know this because sometimes uh, they've put liquid nitrogen instead, because people are stupid, instead of dry ice, which is carbon dioxide, they put liquid nitrogen in, like, on top of, like, some, like, drinks, and then people, like, drank it. One woman did this, and because liquid nitrogen is simultaneously so cold... It's almost, ab it's literally almost absolute zero. And when it heats up, which it instantly does in any environment, even space, that liquid increases in volume by about a thousand times. Your guts are not that big. And so after she drank this, um, I'm not going to go fully into it, but she had to have her stomach removed. Don't drink liquid nitrogen. A lot of sign, a lot of morbid science time we're getting through. A lot of morbid science time we're getting through so far, huh? Donde? Cannot get through the glass. Do I have to get something to break? Ah! <laughs> I'm so su This game makes you feel so smart. I love it. I just love it. So damn cool. Thoughts on Oko? Oko is a menace, but he's not a commander. Pal, have you ever played Destiny? Yes. Uh, I played a lot of Destiny 2 by myself because I don't like people. Um, and I love the shooting. The every gun in that game feels so good, and it's just a it's a very well made shooting game. How do I get up in there? Let me get up in there. Can I just... Have you played Halo? Yes, of course. We played, um... We played, uh... Don't do that. We played, uh, Halo Infinite on stream. How about Warframe? No, never played Warframe. Um, but once we beat this game, hopefully today, we will have another poll for what game we play next. Oh, here, be smart. Think with portals. Um, 
and we have some contenders up there. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn was just uh, released on PC. This is how you do this. Titanfall 2, time level, one of the best levels in any first-person shooter ever. Easily. Did I already go here? Yes. Maybe a piston. Maybe up there. What is your IQ, if you know, says Jack. I don't know. I took one of those... Hey. Where's your, where's your shoes? I took one of those online quizzes once when I was a teenager, but I don't remember what it was. And I think I cheated. So I don't know. I don't really care. TBH. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, wait, there's probably a... Oh, 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 I know. God, I love this game so much. Makes you feel so smart. I love it. I love it. So good. Kyle, do you scuba dive? No. I haven't been certified. Ah! Hey. It's just such a well-made game. play Bioshock after Portal, says Jay Rivera. Jay, I have good news. Um, four to five videos are already up on the gaming channel of me playing through Bioshock. You're welcome. Uh-oh, this is gonna make me have to pee. You gotta get certified, man. I do ocean science and research and diving is amazing. Yeah, I was gonna go out and, um, do some shark tagging, but uh, the dates didn't line up, and I, I'd get certified for something like that, for sure. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Oh, I forgot this, forgot about this banger. Sorry, Chad, I was focusing. Oh, man. I would love to watch Kyle play Subnautica. It's on the list. Campaign for Outer Wilds. It's on the list. Played the Stanley Parable? No. What's your second favorite most uh, second favorite field of science? Um, as Veil Dark. Um, yeah. If I had to go back to school and get a different degree, physics is up there. Um, physics is up there. Oh, I mean nuclear engineering. I'd probably go if I was to go back to school today.
If I had If I had to go back to school today, probably nuclear engineer. Ah! Which degree did you get? Says Variety Entertainment. I have a degree. I have a bachelor's of science degree in civil environmental engineering. Uh, civil engineering with a major in uh, environmental engineering, and then I have a master's degree in communication with a major in science communication, i.e., science journalism, writing, etc., etc. So if you wonder, hey, Kyle, are you, did you just naturally want to be a communicator? No, I work pretty damn hard at it, to be honest. Years and years of training, plus years and years of experience. Um, working hard at that. Go up again? No. Took it very seriously. Oh, it's probably through this fan. No. It's gotta be up here, right? Oh, I'm a smart fan! I love this game so much. Where'd you go to college, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, it's all, don't worry, Nate. It's all in my bio. I went to uh, Marquette University in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Whee! This side, look how far underground we must be. Um, but yeah, so I, I, I if you want to be a science communicator or a professional or, or whatever, it just takes the time, right? So I, uh, 3.8 GPA in my engineering degree, 4.0 in my master's degree. Practiced, submitted articles to free places like the Free Scientific American blog, started pitching my articles, grinding, grinding, grinding social media, sharing my work wherever I could, taking opportunities whenever I could, watching professionals that I really liked, like Carl Sagan, uh, reading good books, taking notes on good books, taking notes on people like Neil deGrasse Tyson, what they do well, what they don't do well, <laughs> like Twitter, um, crafting my own voice and trying to hit that niche of whatever I represent very hard and make it my own. And then after <laughs> seven years of making at least one video a week with, you know, so I've like, I've made like 800 videos since I started science communicating. Then you get to a point where you can talk to thousands of people live off the top of your head about intelligent stuff. It's no mystery. It's no mystery. What I say is right here on a post-it note. What I say right here on a post-it note. Be ready to be great. The world is random. The world is chaotic. The world doesn't care. You are but a hairless primate on a tiny blue speck out in the void which has a very thin grape skin of biofilm on it by happenstance. The best thing you can do, <laughs> the best thing you can do to prepare yourself for what the universe throws at you is to just be prepared to do the best you can whenever that thing happens. I don't know why I was stuttering. That was weird. Why, why did I start? Kyle, we ever make a science video about the biomechanics behind prehistoric creatures? Uh, go back on the Because Science channel. I have, I think, three videos about how to fight different dinosaurs. Um, and I only point you there because I worked with my friend who's actually an evolutionary biomechanist. Um, he's the guy, he's the reason why you've seen articles about how the T-Rex runs or not. He studies that stuff. <laughs> this reminds me a lot of the faci- A place. Wait a second, I'm already at the boss room? Wait a second, I'm already at the boss? Wait a second. This is way shorter than Portal 2. I had all these- oh, all those cool jumps and stuff are in Portal 2, aren't they? Whew! Come on. Chat. 
So what we are going to do, given that we're already at the boss fight for Portal 2, what we're going to do, and this is we were going to do this anyway in the next uh, two minutes or so, um, but what we're going to do is I'm going to take a quick five-minute break to use the restroom, maybe, you know, take some pure caffeine right to the dome. Oh, that's good fiend. <laughs> and I'll be right back to finish Portal 2. And what we'll do, since we'll finish a little bit early, is that we'll we'll talk... Well, you and me will have a little chat for a little while, okay? Rise Against Him with the 20 says, We're already drilling. It's only a matter of time before we find the facility. What? <laughs> Shut up. And I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. I have your metadata. Spoiler alert, I didn't go anywhere. I sat right here. Because I got some notifications on my phone. Hello and welcome to a scientist plays Portal. I'm happy to report that we're already at the end of the game. I think we only played this game for like three hours total. Much shorter than I remember, but I think I was thinking of Portal 2 in my head, uh, which is another... One of the best games ever made. Kyle, what are you drinking? That was water. That was water. Um, if you're just joining us, we are finishing out Portal 2 with the GLaDOS fight. Something that I will do first try. Mark my words. First try. And we will not get neurotoxin to death. We're here in the Gaming Command Center. We've already talked about the forensics of blood spatter. We've talked about the impossibility of actual teleportation or, or portal technology like that. We've talked about how uh, materials can get activated by radiation. We've talked about why drinking liquid nitrogen will kill you. Don't do that. First time catching a video game live stream, it says Dylan Taylor. Dylan, you're in for a treat. What we do here, we sit in the command center with our double monitors, with our quad 75 inch monitors with our ps6 with our gaming chairs and we bring you gameplay from some of the best most fun games ever made especially the sciencey ones and we will be doing science as we do so 
I'm literally the only person who does this. But I'm not trying to brag. I'm trying to tell you that you get to join me as we do this. We're going to do something special. We're going to do it right now. And do you know what I call it? Dylan? I call it Scientist Plays. Yeah, I know. I mean, like, even the segues I have written down are doing pretty... Oh, jeez. Okay. Chat, let's do it. First try. First try. First try. That's fine. Well, you found me. Congratulations. Was it worth it? Because despite your violent behavior, the only thing you've managed to break so far is my heart. Maybe you could settle for that and we'll just call it a day. I guess we both know that isn't going to happen. You chose this path. Now I have a surprise for you. Deploying surprise in five, four. Time out for a second. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. Do you see that thing that fell out of me? What is that? It's not the surprise. I've never seen it before. <laughs> never mind. It's a mystery I'll solve later. By myself. Because you'll be dead. Where are you taking that thing? Oh, I gotta do both. I wouldn't first. bother with that thing. My guess is that touching it will just make your life even worse somehow. <laughs> so fun. I don't want to tell. Oh, You're kidding me. Did you just set that aperture science thing we don't know what it does into an aperture science emergency intelligence incinerator? That has got to be the dumbest thing that whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Good news. I figured out what that thing you just incinerated did. It was a morality core they installed after I flooded the enrichment center with a deadly neurotoxin to make me stop flooding the enrichment center with a deadly neurotoxin. So get comfortable while I warm up the neurotoxin emitters. Oh, that core may have had some ancillary responsibilities. I can't shut off the turret defenses. Oh well. If you want my advice, you should just lie down in front of a rocket. Trust me. Toxin. <laughs> All right. Keep doing whatever it is you think you're doing. Who are you? Killing you and giving me good advice aren't mutually exclusive. The rocket really is the way to go. That thing you brought up isn't important to me. You think you're doing some damage? Makes me feel Two better. Two plus two is... In base four, I'm fine. I let you survive this long In because base four, I was I'm fine. about your behavior. Well, Crap. you've managed to destroy that part of me. Unfortunately, as much as I'd love to know, I can't get the neurotoxin oh, come on. any faster. I'd just like to point out that you were given every opportunity to succeed. There was even going to be a party. <laughs> that all your friends were invited to. I invited your best friend, the companion cube. Of course, he couldn't come because you murdered him. All your other friends couldn't come either because you don't have any other friends. Because of how unlikable you are. It says so right here in your personnel file. Unlikable. Liked by no one. A bitter, unlikable loner whose passing shall not be mourned. Shall not be mourned. That's exactly what it says. Very formal. Very official. It also says you were adopted. Neurotoxic. <laughs> so deadly. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> Kidding. When I said deadly neurotoxin, the deadly was in massive sarcasm quote. I could take a bath in this stuff, put it on cereal, rub it right into my eyes. Honestly, it's not deadly at all. Okay. I find its deadliness a lot less funny. Who's gonna make the cake when I'm gone? You. Look, you're wasting your time. And believe me, you don't have a whole lot left to waste. What's your point anyway? Survival. Well then, the last thing you want to do is hurt me. I have your brain scanned and permanently backed up in case something terrible happens to you. Crap! Which it's just about to. Don't believe me? Here, I'll put you on. 
What? I grabbed it. That's how dumb you sound. You've been wrong about every single thing you've ever done, including this thing. You're not smart. You're not a scientist. You're not a doctor. I am a scientist. You're a full-time employee. Where did your life go somewhere? Are you trying to escape? <laughs> Things have changed since the last time you left the building. What's going on up here? I want to get you back in here. I have an influence. Ouch. Why does she sound like Arya? Exactly. Do you know Matt Bat personally? Yes. Does this have anything to do with Arya's lore? You be the judge. <laughs> this is the Colston track? Colson? Sorry, you're gonna have to do it all again. Speed run it, says Platinum. I think the pl I think the speed run's even faster than that, isn't it? The out of bounds. This Jonathan Colton. Not Colson. Let's I'm making a note here. Huge success. We're gonna just enjoy this together, Shan. It's hard to overstate my satisfaction. Except that guy's name is Jeep. You see that? Aperture science. We do what we must because we can. For the good of all of us, except the ones who are dead. But there's no sense crying over every mistake. You just keep on trying till you run out of cake. And the science gets done and you make a neat gun for the people who are still alive.
easily, easily one of the best video games ever made, which its sequel is even better. Also one of the best games ever made. Uh, shout outs to Jonathan Colton, who has such a way with nerdy words and, and making fun, but very heartfelt songs. I don't know if, if all of you felt the same way, but, you know, during that end fight, you, you, you develop a weird emotional attachment just by just with what Gladys is saying because the writing is so damn strong and that song is so damn strong that you feel bad but good and, and, and all this time and yeah it, it it's the best games like this one the best games make you sit down afterwards after you're done playing it and just think about it for a little bit you know and you turn it off and you're like you know and it makes you feel really satisfied, and you're glad, even though it, it, it made you feel emotions, which I don't always like, but it made you feel glad that you had those emotions. Yeah, I, I first played this Eren Ronin on Orange Box, um, which had Half-Life 2, and then Episode 1 and Episode 2. Um, just phenomenal games. I recommend Portal to absolutely anybody. It is, it is, it is just fantastic. Um... How dare it make you feel? Yeah, no, th I mean, that's the thing, uh, Makulu. I, um, I don't always like feeling strong emotions because I get very, uh, I don't know, I get, I, things that m hit me in the feels make me very emotionally invested in stuff, and I know that, um, once I get very emotionally invested, it can affect me, and I can I can, I can spend a long time thinking about it and all that stuff. So, um, I tend to have some emotional avoidance sometimes with games like this, but I but I'm not not this one too much. But um, games like The Last of Us or something, um, I know the the roller coaster of emotions I'm going to go through, and it and it I have to work up to it. Do you know what I mean? I have to work up to getting myself in the headspace where like okay i might i might cry or i might you know feel very scared or stressed out and and working yourself up to that isn't trivial it's really not but when you do work yourself up to an experience like that and a game like that a game that can bring you on that journey it's something that you really um, don't find anywhere else in media. I hit the wrong button. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. I'm not crying. You're crying. So yeah, I mean, games can be art. Portal is definitely a good example. It makes you feel smart. It's creative. It's interesting. It's short and sweet. It's little bit emotional it's got interesting lore that it doesn't force upon you um it's just been fantastic i hope i hope that everyone has enjoyed this uh last portal stream tomorrow on the gaming channel we will post the final stream that we did for fallout 4 which came out of, which we did live on twitch a couple months ago but it will be the last chronicle of that journey and then just in time for halloween We'll be putting up our uh, cut down of the Dead Space adventure, where we do just like what we did here today. You'll see the cut down summary of me going through Dead Space, my favorite horror game ever, uh, Dead Space 1, and uh, exploring and explaining as much as we can while being terrified out of our minds, just like we did today. If you're just joining us, go back to the first video of Portal and then watch this one. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't yet. We are trying to grow out the... Uh, the blah, 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 grow out the gaming channel. So I hope you will help me do that if you enjoyed what you saw here today. Of course, if you want to continue on enjoying this kind of stuff, you can go with, always go to patreon.com slash Kyle Hill. Join the facility today. Get in our members-only Discord. See videos early. Vote on what we do with our videos. Um, and just become uh, a member of, of what we're trying to do here, which has nothing to do... Like, I have to be very clear. Aria has nothing to do with GLaDOS. The facility has nothing to do with Aperture Science. It's not like Portal and similar things 
had a gigantic influence on what we're doing here. That's not obviously not the case. Thorgun with the five says, simping for that cake. Best video game antagonist, Kyle? Probably Abby from Last of Us 2. Um, to make you play as a villain or a supposed villain for half of a game and then recontextualizing what it means to be a hero and villain while you play that game in a very mature, visceral way. I think no other story in gaming has even come close to to circumvent uh not circumventing but um countering your expectations like that and taking a gigantic chance on what is widely considered one of the best video games ever made to have the sequel take a gigantic narrative chance like that no one no one has ever done that before um uh um and uh Dutch from Red Dead Redemption 2. It's right up there. Um, anyway. We can talk about this a little bit later. I cannot wait to see you next time. Wherever that may be. If that's back on the gaming channel tomorrow for a finale. A little cut down finale of Fallout 4. Whether it's on the new video on the main channel that dropped today. All about Dungeons and Dragons in space. Go watch it please. The video is performing terribly. So go watch it. <laughs> so we can occasionally do more stuff like that uh coming up on the channel next week i think we're going to do more with artificial intelligence i'm working on the script for a new half-life histories right now i am here at the facility to educate and entertain my very best and i hope you join me for all of that and what is for what is to come till i see you next time wherever that may be remember be nice to each other because this is all we got. And you can have that gotness with cake. Your grammar's bad.